Hello and welcome. Thank you so much for watching. This show is all about giving you insights and showcasing brands that help you to live your best life and give you confidence. As always, I want to kickstart your morning with some motivational advice to help you to feel inspired and energized to start your day. Today, I want to talk about the importance of giving 100% of your effort into anything you do. One of the things that separate those who achieve extraordinary success and those that don't boils down to how well they can execute tasks, big or small, with excellence, passion, and 100% of their effort. Are you one of those people who put 100% effort into anything you do? Or do you do it for the sake of doing it half-heartedly? The effort you put into any goal is vital because the effort you put in today will ultimately become the results you reap tomorrow. When you give your all and dedicate full attention to your goals, you will notice that the universe will reward you with an abundance of results and opportunities. It might not happen immediately, but over time, you will reap the rewards of your labor. More importantly, giving your all gives you complete satisfaction that win or lose, you tried your best. Those that don't do their best always have regrets about what could have happened if they had only tried a little bit harder. Make it your mission today to pursuing excellence in anything you do. Remember, you have three C's in life to choose from. Give up, give in, or give it your all. Stay tuned, coming up after the break. And let's talk about your current projects. What else are you working on right now? Well, I have a movie called Let Us In. It's a sci-fi thriller. Aww. So that is coming out soon, I think. 2021 maybe the end of this year you know the beginning of next year so i'm really excited about that it's something very different that i've you know been in so i what does luxury mean to you luxury in india i discovered that true luxury isn't something you buy off a shelf true luxury is a feeling that you are the maharani of your world And it can be all designed around you. All the beauty is yours. All the music is yours. India showed me that luxury doesn't follow designers and brands. True luxury follows its own heart. Incredible India. All natural sweetener. Flavor all. 20 flavors to choose from. The perfect substitute for sugar and artificial sweeteners. Flavor all by Greenish. Flavor all from Greenish. Now available at Rexall Pharmacies. Next up on the show, we have Mackenzie Moss, who plays Natalie in the CBS sitcom The Unicorn, which is also now streamed on Netflix. Mackenzie, thank you so much for being on the show today. How are you doing? I'm good. Thank you so much for having me. I'm doing good. How are you? <laughs> I'm doing great. Thank you so much for joining us because I know that it's Thanksgiving and you made this happen. So I really appreciate it. And I hope you get to obviously enjoy your Thanksgiving later on. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. Of course. Yeah. And I love the fact that you said you have a Canadian connection. Your mom is Canadian. Yes. Yes, she is. That's always good. I always love to hear. It's so strange because a lot of the people we have on our show, somehow they have some sort of Canadian connection. So it's always good. <laughs> so let's just dive into it. Let's talk about your journey. You're obviously a successful actress. When did you realize your passion for acting? I realized at a very young age, I think it was around four. My mm -hmm. dad is in the business. So he put me in like a little part of his movie and I was like obsessed with it. And mm -hmm. I just, Asked them, I was like, oh, I want to do this so bad. And I was like, sure. So. Yeah. And what kind of steps did you take to make it a career? Well, first I told my parents and then they got me an agent immediately. And then they sent me out on auditions. And actually the first audition I went to, I booked. So oh, wow. it was kind of meant to be. Wow. That's incredible. And some of your TV and film credits include the movie Steve Jobs, directed by Danny Boyle, pop star on Netflix. What's been your favorite milestone in your career so far? 
I think every single movie I've been in is so different. I think everything I'm so grateful for. I feel like there isn't like one specific milestone in particular. I think all of it is such a good experience for me and everything that I've been on is like a milestone, I'd say. Yeah, definitely. And let's talk about the unicorn and your role. Let's talk a little bit about your role and um, who you play. Yeah, so Natalie is 12, a 12 year old girl with two, well, one sister. Her dad is played by Walton Goggins, who plays Wade. Um, so it's, she's definitely a normal, witty, sarcastic girl, and she's um, a, a jock. She loves soccer and, you know, kind of the opposite of me. So it's fun to play that. Mm -hmm. And what kind of challenges does she face in this show? I would say since her father is currently widowed, not having that mother figure has been challenging for her. And I think this season we kind of see her grow as a person without, you know, having that mother figure, which is really hard. Mm -hmm. And for those people that don't know, because I know this is a relatively new show, talk to us a little bit about the show and the premise of the show. Yes, so The Unicorn is about a currently widowed father getting in, you know, back into the dating world with the help of his friends and also having the balance of dating and also making sure his daughters have the right, you know, environment to grow up in without just running to girlfriends and, you know, dating stuff. So it's definitely different from like a 20 year old dating versus a dad with two daughters. Mm -hmm. you know, so. Yeah, definitely. And I did see that it's also streaming on Netflix, correct? Yes, season one so far is streaming and we're currently filming season two. So I think once that's finished, they're going to air it on Netflix. So season one right now and then wow. season two. Yeah. And what can people expect from the show? What kind of vibe is it? It's, it's a comedy, correct? Yes, it is a comedy with like the perfect amount of heartfelt in it also. So there's heartfelt moments and there's also really funny comedic ones. Like the cast is hilarious and they're also great at, you know, doing those heartfelt moments as well. Mm -hmm. And you know, you've been successful at a young age in acting. So what advice would you have for our viewers that kind of want to do the same thing you're doing? I would definitely say just to be yourself for sure and not try to be someone else to satisfy other people. And also when you do get to the point of auditioning and if you get like this close and it's always the other person that would get it, don't you don't have to blame it on yourself. It's definitely a hard thing but that you have to overcome and it definitely makes you stronger. So I think you have to be strong and be yourself. Mm -hmm. And you know, our show is all about inspiration and inspiring the new generation. What kind of challenges did you face along your journey to success? A lot of no's. Definitely when you're auditioning, you have to have a hundred no's to get that one yes. Mm -hmm. And I've gone out for so many roles in the ones that I've gotten this close to. I'm like, oh, this is mine. And then when I get something else, I'm like, oh, this one's so much more for me. Every role that you book is definitely your role. So, you know, when it's when it's yours, it's like, it's yours, it makes sense instead of just, you know, forcing another role on yourself that's not meant to be. Mm -hmm. And have you been surprised by your success this far? Um, I think that, yes, yes, actually, because I have, I have had so many moments where I'm like, oh, I'm so over this, I, I can't audition anymore, I'm just, I've gotten so many no's and I felt so discouraged, but every time I, you know, I get back up, so I'm definitely proud that I've kept going because there's a lot of good things that come with, you know, the no's. Yeah, definitely. And how did you face those no's? Because I think that's really important advice. You know, when people see someone who's successful like you, um, they only see the success. But as, as you said, there's always no's behind every person that has achieved great things. So how did you kind of um, get through those barriers and accept those no's and keep going? Yeah, so for like the first couple no's, especially when I was young, I took it personally because I was like, wait, why don't they want me? Like, is there something wrong with me? But that's not, definitely not the issue. It's just they found someone that fits the role better. So I think I've realized that and I'm like, oh, well, it wasn't for me. And, it, you know, when I've moved on, I think it has definitely been hard for me and it still is. I still do take it personally, but I'm still working on it and it's still something that I should be working on. So. Mm -hmm. And let's talk about your current projects. What else are you working on right now? Well, I have a movie called Let Us In. It's a sci-fi thriller. Oh. So that is coming out soon. I think 2021, maybe the end of this year, you know, the beginning of next year. So I'm really excited about that. It's something very different that mm -hmm. I've 
you know, been in. So I, I was doing a more sci-fi movie, which I've never got to do, and it was so fun. So that's, you know, that's my new project that's coming out soon. Yeah, and you play so many different roles. How do you get into character for these roles? Um, I mean, I don't really have like a specific like. I'm not like a method actor, and I'm not like a full like mm -hmm. you know the character. I think I I do my lines, and it's just kind of like I I it just kind of you know happens for me. I just like you know put stuff behind the lines and like what I'm like really thinking, and also if there's like one line, I'm trying to think of different meanings like behind it to add so much more to that. So I think. You know, I, I just kind of read it and I just know. Mm -hmm. And where can people connect with you on social media? Yes, you can follow me on Instagram at Mackenzie Moss, M-A-K-E-N-Z-I-E. -E. So there's no C, just M-A-K-E-N-Z-I-E. -E. Mackenzie Moss on Instagram and then also it's Mackenzie Moss on Twitter, which I don't really post on. Post more on Instagram, so Instagram. <laughs> all right, Mackenzie, thank you so much for being on the show today and congratulations on all your success. And of course, enjoy your Thanksgiving. Thank you so much. You as well. Tag TV is available on Roku, Amazon Fire TV, Apple and Android TVs, as well as on Apple and Android phones. Watch us live through YouTube and Facebook.